Hi, now that we are having almost two months to prepare for GATE, I will tell you what you should be doing in these two months. So the first thing is complete all the subjects. So generally there are two categories of people who doesn't complete the subjects. One category of people think that um, the subjects are very difficult and so I will not study them. So let me tell you one thing, the subject may be difficult but then the gate questions may be simple from them. What I mean to say is if you are planning to leave out mathematics or CO or CN, let me tell you these subjects are difficult but then the sometimes easy questions may come from that which means all the other people who have studied the subjects will answer that question and you will not be able to answer that question okay so at least try to know the theoretical part of it even if you don't practice at least you go through the videos and understand the theoretical part of it so that if there is a simple question you will also answer it along with all others and the second category of people who leave the subjects are those who think that we don't have time two months is less time so i will leave out cn i will leave out co i will leave out mathematics so this is wrong the reason is we have two months time even if you prepare 10 days 10 hours every day this is going to be 300 hours per month and 600 hours for two months in fact you could complete all the subjects in 600 hours so don't go to gate exam without completing all the subjects that is really a waste if you go to if you go to gate exam by leaving out two three subjects you are anyway not going to get in thousand then why are you writing gate at all so first complete all the subjects keep away everything so keep away revision keep away test series keep away pyqs first your focus should be completing all the subjects okay and now for those who have already completed all the subjects the next important thing is previous year questions this is the most important thing that many people ignore so if you look at the past five year question papers, I have analyzed them, nearly 70% of the questions are similar to previous year questions. If you solve all the previous year questions from 2020, 2000 till 2023, 70% of the questions will come from that, which means you will get 70 marks from that only from PYQs. So before you do test series, do the PYQs perfectly. Okay. And next thing is test series. <coughs> I suggest that people who have completed all the subjects and PYQs, they only should go for test series. Okay. Because the reason is test series from test series, you are not going to learn much. Maybe few questions you don't know you are going to get them. But then uh, if, if you have not completed the subjects, your focus should be completing the subjects and PYQs and the last priority should be given to test series. And if you have not completed subjects, then don't give subject tests, just give the grand tests at the end. So focus on completing the subjects. But for those who have already completed the subjects, test series is going to be helpful for revision. So when you are doing topic wise tests and subject wise tests, you will understand which topics you are not good at and you are going to revise them. Therefore, test series will help you in revision. So but then do test series only if you have completed all the subjects. And the next part is short notes. This is very important. I have I have seen many toppers AIR1, AIR2, that level. So all the toppers have short notes. This is the right time to make short notes. If you have already a detailed notes with you, uh, so detailed notes are going to be like 200 pages per subject, 300 pages per subject. If you already have a detailed notes, then while revising the detailed notes, just write down the points, only important points, one or two lines for every page. A detailed note said a very short note should be present with you so that before you go to the gate exam, like if you have three hours of time, you should be able to revise all the subjects from the short notes. So prepare short notes and keep it handy. And the next thing is revision. So revision is the most important thing in the entire cycle. So if you don't revise the subjects, you will not remember what you have studied. You may have studied the entire subject, but in the exam, if you are not able to recollect the concepts, then it is completely a waste of time right so revision is as important as preparing for subjects so my suggestion is from now on for the last two months at least keep aside two hours for revision every day two hours don't do anything just revise 
what you have studied now what happens is the more the more number of times you revise the notes it will be sinking into your mind and you will be remembering it for a long time so in the exam it will be very easy to recollect the concepts so without revision you will not be able to recollect the concepts i i'll give you a small example maybe if you, you might have done algorithms course uh, four months back and you have not touched the course after that then chances are that you will not remember many concepts so you have to revise every day every day two hours you keep cycles like today i will revise one subject tomorrow day after tomorrow and see that you gradually go to a phase where within two hours you should be able to revise three four subjects okay so that's that's it for now all the best for your exam thank you